It's been a while since I recorded my last Multiplayer Kings video, so I decided that today I will show you guys five really good options that you can use on multiplayer, one option from each class. So with nothing else to add, let's get into it. Starting from D-Class, I will begin with the Chevrolet Corvette C3. This car actually costs only 1 million credits, which is actually quite cheap if you are just a beginner on this game, because you can save up a million credits relatively easily. Sometimes this car appears by 1000 tokens, but most of the times I have seen this car on sale was through credits. So overall it's actually a really good car. For the run where it is, it has a fairly decent acceleration, the nitro duration, as you can see, is fairly good too. And overall, I think that's a must-have car if you are just a beginner on the game, because if you apply enough boosters, you can actually reach Elite League on Classic Multiplayer just with this car. I also picked this car because it's ultimate, therefore you don't need to spend any resources on upgrading it, and it's fairly good in terms of the matchmaking, because around this rank, there are very few like really good cars, like for example, the Infinity FX50, for example. But this car overall is ultimate, so you don't have to spend anything else to upgrade. You just have to pay the price and you already have the car fully upgrade. So overall, I think it's a fairly good car to begin with on Asphalt 8. Not, not only because of the performance, but also because it's quite versatile because of the ultimate status it has. Of course, there are better cars in Class D, but just for beginners, this is a fairly good one. Now jumping into C-Class, we have the Respani Beast X, which actually is the best car you can get around this rank. Seriously, this car has a fairly good acceleration. You can appreciate at the very beginning of the race how I pass through all the other rivals just straight into first position. This car uh, main weakness, I think, is the Nitro Duration because overall this car is excellent, it's only excellent. The handling is perfect, the drift radius as you are see, seeing right now is just insane and overall the car feels so easy to, to dominate so it's a just a really nice car to begin with on C-Class. Even more than higher cars like the Pininfarina or the Vol Volkswagen EDR because, because of the new matchmaking that cars are not as useful as this Resbani Beast X. Yes, it's a bit more expensive than the Chevrolet Corvette C3. Obviously, this car is at C-Class, but overall, I think this is a car that you won't regret going for, because as you can see on this race, this car is fairly good for the run where it is. But of course, there are other options like the Harry Nera Hussera, which was nerfed around this rank too, but is not as good as this one. At B class, I have decided to pick the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, mostly because it's the cheapest car you can get around this rank as a free-to-play player, and overall the performance is fairly close to the kings of this rank, which are way more expensive, like the, for example, uh, Formula e Gen or the recently released uh, Peugeot 9X8. So this car has a really good acceleration, the nitro duration is Fairly good, but it's not as good as the Formula e Gen. but you can compensate it because this car is way cheaper than the Formula e Gen because mostly it's not a festival car, so you don't need to apply any wild cars or something like that, which is actually a really good advantage because it requires a way less resources and you still get a fairly good and competitive performance. So overall, this is a, a car I really recommend go for. At A-Class, I have decided to go for one of my favorite cars around this rank, which is the Spada Quadratron car. This car has a really good acceleration since it was buffed, because let's remember that this car performance was improved a few updates ago, and now has a really good uh, nitro efficiency, which was way better than the previous one, and has a really good handling, feels quite stable while you are dri driving it, which is something I appreciate over other cars because at this rank we have a ton of really good and competitive cars, but very few cars feels as good as the Spada Codatronca, which is available by credits, which makes it even better because you only need 1 million, 1.6 million credits to get this car as for now, and that's quite cheap for the performance this car offers overall. 
Also the drift radius I forgot to mention is also fairly decent and this car can do micro drifts fairly decently. So overall it's a really good car, even cheaper than many other options around this rank because let's remember that this car is available by credits which makes it even better in my honest opinion. And at last but not least, on S-Class I have decided for go, to go for a classic, which is the Pininfarina Batista. Let's remember that Gameloft gave this car for free at its festival at tier 8 and oh my god, this is basically the best car you can get right now. I know it's extremely expensive to upgrade but let's remember that Gameloft will give to everyone an ultimate upgrade with the new a, a update which will help you to instantly fully upgrade this car which is in my opinion really good so if you got the car for free at its festival and you can and know you have the chance to fully upgrade it with the ultimate upgrade this car is the perfect combo it's excellent for events excellent for multiplayer and excellent and really useful for gauntlet specifically in some tracks like sector 8 or like this track on Tade. So let me know your thoughts about the suggestions I'm giving you right now on this video. Let me know which cards do you use to push through multiplayers, through the classic multiplayers uh, season. And I will see you really soon with much more Asphalt 8 and more update news. So see you soon and goodbye guys.